Okay, this is Stu at 25 McDonald in Wellington. Just in the backyard of the property here. Um, I found out some more. Let's see, our fence line's pretty natural looking. Uh, about how this is being severed. So the back lot will be retained, I believe, by this property here that's under renovation. Um, so there eventually will be a fence up where these posts are. Um, still a decent little yard here with a deck and everything. Get views into our dining room and kitchen there. It's great potential for entertaining and different uh, ways of enjoying the house. Just taking a little walk here so you can see the neighborhood a bit. Or have a refresher if you of beautiful homes down here. I walked down to the water. Um, I did see a no trespassing sign. I think that's probably for safety over the winter. It did look to be a bit of a temporary sign. Um, the agent's confirming uh, a bit more of the details of the waterfront access, but I was told that um, the locals in this street here will um, put up a wooden ladder and they're allowed to go and hang out by the water which is great, usually access is just in and out. Um, what else have I learned? Well, some details about the sale. Originally the home was going to be um, airbnb would um, but all the licensing issues, um, that has not moved forward. So the seller has instead decided to sever the back portion of the lot and sell the remainder. So coming in here, we do have a panel here at 200 amps, pretty well utilized, all labeled though. If you had additional needs like a hot tub or something, you could get a pony panel still. Um, walking into the living room here, do you have our renovated space painted brick on our fireplace there good feelings about that being wet certified with the size of that hearth but you would want to get that inspected still nice bay window here possibly enough to have a little reading bench put in hang out in the front um, we're not super far from Wellington Main Street which is not a fast street but um, there is a nice private feel here, which is great. Another bay window here with that view I was mentioning outside onto the deck. Potential for different orientations for sliding doors if I were to get put in there. We have our kitchen here. That light switch did not work how I hoped. Very light. Lots of lights. Here we go. Nice and bright um, laminate for our uh, finishes on the countertop there. A little bit of an upgrade on the hardware, otherwise painted cabinets, but a nice clean, crisp finish. There's a little reveal of the uh, old brick, but that shouldn't be too hard to finish up. Some little closer care might get that um, brought to you the finish it was meant to have. In the living room, you can see where it was supposed to go. It's much more polished, but kitchen a little bit more. Um, bit of a island scenario there with some bar seating, dishwasher, a nice um, farmhouse style sink with a pass here which is great. Subway tile. A couple little notes from the old house. So there's still potential to kind of improve more, but we're pretty close for an aesthetic. Um, dining room. Lovely finish there. Almost like a wainscoting style board and batten type wall there. 
um, views outside the window there. I can see the lake, which is awesome. So hanging out in the dining room, you do get that lake view. For a nice feel. The weather feels alive out there right now. We've got that crazy rainstorm coming, but it makes the house feel extra cozy. Coming through to the kitchen here, um, like a pantry portion of the kitchen. And there's a laundry room. Additional storage. And your hot water tank. Whoa, even more pantry in here. Tons of room. And then primary bed here. That same board and batten finish on the wall. Looks like most bed sizes should fit in here. Electrical is placed far enough away that it shouldn't interfere if you had a larger bed. Tons of closet here. That's great. And your ensuite here. Mostly just the new vanity and lighting in here. This still has a nice feel. Slowly working our way through the house. We have a little rack room here. Just a little love seat and electric stove. I don't get a chill from in here, so I don't imagine that it's super necessary to have on. Some lights. Sorry, I usually have all the lights on, but it was a bit rushed getting in here today. Second bedroom. Views of the yard. closet there nice and deep lots of storage just the one door but still nice and wide and I guess more family washing a little dated but it is a clean feel in here again with the new vanity um, little linen closet Okay, I believe that's everything. We will do a little reverse tour here. It's great, so your guests kind of have their own little space. If they come to stay, they can be in there with their own little rec room, larger living room for all, which is great. Nice big kitchen with all that storage. Fabulous dining room with lots of window reveal and your primary bed with ensuite. All right, thank you for touring.